Okay, we're on to chest. Now I'm sitting on the granddaddy of all exercises, the bench press. The most ineffectively used piece of equipment in the gym. And why do I say that? Most people when they bench press, they actually are not engaging their chest. Everybody wants to know how do you develop a nice, round, strong chest. Well, you actually have to engage the chest to do that. I'm going to keep my hands about shoulder width apart. I'm going to pull the weights off and I'm going to let them come down somewhere between my neck and my nipples. Not down here, but up here. And I'm going to move the weight slowly upward. Now you can see my elbows are not extended completely. That will keep the weight on my chest throughout the entire movement. Move down slow. Take a cake, what do you do? You put icing on it. You're not allowed to eat it, but you can put icing on it. And that's exactly what we're going to do here with the flies. Now my back is arched, the weights are together, not touching, disturbing everybody in the gym. And I'm going to bend my elbows ever so slightly and come on down very slowly. Hi, welcome to the chest exercises. I want to show you a couple of exercises that are really, really going to make your chest look terrific. The first is the bench press, but unfortunately 90% of the people do the bench press wrong. And one of the reasons for that is because they round out their back. And when they round out their back, what happens is the weight gets absorbed into the arms, comes around the back like this, and out the other side, and they wind up missing the very area that they're trying to work. The only way to really get the chest engaged is to keep the shoulder blades together. So you start the exercise out by kind of scrunching your shoulder blades together on the bench, so this is what it looks like, and then you're pushing this way, as compared to keeping a rounded back and pushing this way. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you. It's a subtlety, but you want to keep all of this relaxed, keep the hands relaxed, but we're going to, for safety reasons, keep our hands on the bar just like this, all the way around. Keep the shoulder blades together, lay back on the bench, and push up so that it looks like this. And you'll see that my chest will contract much earlier in the exercise than if I had my hands like this and I pushed out from the outside. Think of pushing from the inside straight up. Watch this. Okay, you see my shoulder blades are together. My back is slightly arched, and that's creating a contraction for me much earlier in the exercise. I'm going to do this wrong for you just for a moment to show you what it looks like when you're doing it improperly. Shoulders are rounded, and when you come up, see you actually miss the chest. Now I'll do it the right way. Shoulder blades together. Chest comes up as those weights come up. And by the way, an important thing to know, is wherever that bar comes down, that's the part of the chest you're going to work. If you bring the bar down very high, that's the part of the chest you'll work. And if you bring the bar down low, that's the part of the chest you'll work. So another way to achieve that contraction is by putting a slight arch in the back. Not too much, just enough that if I saw you, I could actually slide my hand underneath you. But if you were training with me, you'd know that. And the way to do that is to come to my website, www.vixnatural.com, and you can download the entire chest workout. I will take you through the workout, rep by rep, breath by breath, step by step. I've created workouts for iPod and MP3 download, and you can literally take me to the gym with you. When you go to the website now, you can download my ab workout and my diet absolutely free with the purchase of anything on the site. I look forward to training with you, www.vixnatural.com. Peace, love, and muscles.